iPal Ace Plus version 2.0 using with a refreshable Braille display. The iPal Ace Plus is compatible with the following refreshable Braille displays, Freedom Scientific Focus 14, Alva BC 640, APH Refresher Braille 18, Hums Braille Edge 40, Bomb Super Vario 2, 40 slash Humanware slash PDI Brilliant 40, Humanware Brilliant BI 40. For specific details on which controls on a particular Braille display correspond the controls on the Ace Plus, please refer to Appendix C, Part B in the iPal Ace Plus User Manual. A copy of the manual can be downloaded from ABC's website support section tab for text manuals at www.abc.com slash support slash manuals dot html. Adjusting the Ace Plus settings to your preferred Braille display format. Before using your Braille display, if you would like to use contracted Braille format, previously called Grade 2 Braille, you will need to turn this feature on in general settings as described below. By default, Grade 2 Braille is set to off. Also, if you would like to disable word wrapping to allow more characters per line, you can turn word wrap to off in the settings. Instructions for how do this follow. Adjusting the Ace Plus settings to your preferred Braille display format. Continued. Please start by powering on your device with the power button, which is located on the left side of the device just above the port for the power supply. Once the Ace Plus is booted, the announcement, main menu, scan, and read, will be made. You are now at the main menu. Adjusting the Ace Plus settings to your preferred Braille display format. Continued. To adjust your settings, from the main menu, use the right roller which is located on the top front right shoulder of the device to scroll down through the menu options which are announced, until you get to settings. Use the action button, a flat rectangular button on the right shoulder of the device above right roller, to select the settings menu option. Next, use the action button to select general settings. Scroll to and select grade 2 braille. Then, scroll to and select on. If you want to turn word wrap off, scroll to and select braille word wrap, and then select off. You will be returned to the settings menu options. Next, connect the braille display to one of the USB ports on the left side of the Ace Plus above the power button. Wait 10 to 30 seconds for the braille display to start, depending on your display. Using your braille display. To use a braille display without adjusting the settings first, please power on the Ace Plus and wait until it is fully booted and you hear main menu, scan, and read before connecting the braille display to one of the USB ports on the Ace Plus. The braille display should start within 10 to 30 seconds. Next, select the scan and read menu option from the main menu. To take a picture, press the scan button. It will start reading aloud. When scanning a document using the scan button on the Braille display, there is no voice output. If you use the scan button on the Ace Plus, it will behave as it normally does, but will stop reading aloud if you scroll the Braille display. Using your Braille display, continued. Use the buttons on your Braille display to navigate through the text. Read Appendix 100th Part B for details on your particular display. When reading the appendix, the information is set up in a table. The Ace Plus reads in column mode by default. To switch it to read in table mode, press the left and right daisy arrows together at the same time and release. A set of daisy buttons, left, right, up and down arrows with a circular center daisy button in the middle of them, is located on the top panel of the device on the left side. Press the left and right daisy arrows again when you want to switch back to column mode. The cursor will follow along as you read. The Ace Plus will not, however, read aloud if you are reading the text using the panning buttons, sometimes called back and advance, on the Braille display. Using your Braille display, continued. Please note, if you are doing a quick check of the battery status and network connection status, by pressing the center daisy button, and you are using a braille display, once you press the center daisy button on the Ace Plus, you can use the right roller or equivalent controls on your braille display to scroll to the battery status and the network status. Once you have read the status, 
you can press the back button, or equivalent, to return to the screen you were on. Conclusion This concludes the iPal Ace Plus, using with a refreshable Braille display tutorial. Happy reading! Questions? Call us at 855-354-4080, or send us an email at info at abic.com. ABC Incorporated 30 Sudbury Road, Unit 1B, Acton, Massachusetts 01720 www.abic.com